Hey, how are you? Little bastard. You'll fire his ass one day. I can't find him anywhere, Derek. No misses a wall. I knew we'd have to drag RC out from that studio. Yeah, I called the cell, but there was no answer. Well, there's still time. I'll take the limo. RC! Man, what are you still... I'm not going to believe who the dead guy is. Ronald Caldwell. I don't believe it. So she Flex. He practically invented the wheels of steel. Never heard of him. He's one of the first DJs to come out of Brooklyn in the 80s. The man's a legend. Certainly dresses like one. Patek Philippe watch. Diamond cufflinks. There's his stylish cat. Looks like he took one in the chest. There's a shell casing over here. Looks like a 45. Burn plastic. Gunpowder? Mm-hmm. Well, whoever came in meant business. There's a lock on this door, and there's a lock on the door from the street, too. RC must have buzzed him in. You are the shooter. CSU guys found this in the stairwell, bottom landing. Don't collect it. Oh, thought so. It's a ghetto silencer. Did you make sure Leighton gets that? Yeah. You know, it takes some doings to duct tape a pop bottle to the end of a gun barrel. You tried it? I've tried everything once. Not this. My son's still on all of his albums. R.C. Flex and his crew were like the hip-hop Beatles. They were the first rappers to cross over. The press has gotten wind of it. Well, it's nothing like a dead celebrity to sell newspapers. And records. What do we know? Well, he was shot once with a 45 semi-automatic. The shooter used a silencer made from a plastic soda bottle. That's the hold back. There was no evidence of forced entry, so we think that Caldwell buzzed whoever killed him into the studio. I doubt this was a rap rivalry. You mean like that East Coast, West Coast stuff? I thought that nonsense was over years ago. If it ever really existed outside the media. I'm glad you two know what the hell you're talking about, because I sure don't. Besides, I don't see R.C. going at it like 50 Cent and Ja Rule. R.C. was old school. His music was about kicking back and partying. Well, that party's over. Excuse me, sir. We're here to talk to Nicole Caldwell. Let me see some ID. You're busting our stones, right? These people pay $5 million an apartment. They expect top-notch security. There you go, bro. 19th floor. What apartment? There's only one. RC's come a long way from Fort Greene. We know this is a difficult time, and we're very sorry for your loss, Mrs. Caldwell. Thank you. Sir, do you mind if we talk to Mrs. Caldwell alone? It's okay, Derek is family. I knew RC for over 20 years. We put each other on the map when I was at Fidelis Records. You folks were at some kind of a party last night? Uh, RC was supposed to receive a career achievement award. He never showed up. You didn't attend the ceremony with your husband, Mrs. Caldwell? RC had to attend a showcase downtown first. It's an industry event for unsigned artists. The man was genius at taking raw talent to the next level. Why did he go to the studio instead of going straight to the award ceremony? He left his tux there. Did he have a problem with anyone who may have been at this showcase? You think someone at the showcase did this? Oh, Pete would never let that happen. Who? Pete Andretti, his bodyguard. R.C. liked to have protection for certain events. There's supposed to be a file on every client, but... I can't find R.C.'s paperwork. Well, forget about the paperwork. Do you know if Mr. Andretti was guarding R.C. last night? Did something happen to him? He was shot in his studio. Is he okay? Well, actually, he was killed. You know him? Uh, no, not really. I've only been working here a couple weeks. What's up, Cece? Uh... Pete Andretti? Yeah. Pete, R.C.'s been killed. I know, I just heard it on the radio. Better come to my office. 